I'm Richard Moorcroft. Good to have your company again as we take a brisk jog around the letters and numbers block. And your training partners tonight, of course, the actively analytical Lily Cerner. Hi, Richard. Actually, I remember you saying a while ago that you, you don't jog, do you? Why is that? Oh, I've got a bad knee. But I remember also that you do like to dance. So have you got into any of those kind of dance craze fitness approaches? Well, I do like to dance, but I don't do well with choreographed dances. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to try it eventually, maybe. Oh, OK. Well, if you get one of those routines worked out, we'd like a demonstration. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Welcome, Lily. And the fit as a riddle, David Astle. <laughs> I like that. Actually, here's a riddle for you. What, what, do, um, what do you call the form of yoga that was practised by the ancient Romans? I know, I know. Toga yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Too quick! Yeah. Was, that, was that right? Not right, but it's actually probably better than my answer. <laughs> um, because be, after toga yoga uh, lost favour, there was another fashion that came up, and it was called Pontius Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> nice riddle. Yeah. Smile on the face. Keep it there, David. Let's meet our <laughs> contestants for tonight. And firstly, our carryover champion, back for a big fifth night, Colin Turnbull. Welcome back, Colin. Thank you. Now, you are getting married in the, the not-too-distant future. You've been really good with the numbers over the last few nights, and you're going to use numbers in a very particular way after your wedding. What, what's happening here? Yeah, for the reception, instead of having a sort of boring one, two, three, four, five or place names, we're just going to use just the prime numbers. Prime <laughs> numbers? What's yeah, the prime to, numbers to, to, to identify the tables? Uh, just to identify the tables, yeah, but there'll be no number 13, that would, that would just be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a very happy day though, and hopefully tonight a very happy night as well. Thank you. Colin, welcome back. And here to challenge Colin is finance industry specialist Robin Benjamin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Richard. Now, I gather when your family is at home, you all sit down to watch Letters and Numbers and you actually play together, is that right? Yeah, that's right. We all, uh, I try to come back home by six and we all sit together. My six-year-old, my ten-year-old and my dad, 68-year-old, we all sit with paper and pencil and uh, compete with each other. And is it and very competitive? It, it is sometimes. And um, it's a good show. And in terms of your young, you know, your youngsters, are they showing good promise? Oh yeah, the older one, um, he actually had a suggestion to um, let us in numbers for juniors, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we look forward to you playing here tonight. Thank Good you. luck. So, please welcome our contestants, Colin Turnbull and Robin Benjamin. Let's begin proceedings as usual with the letters game. The aim is to make the longest word possible for the chosen letters. And uh, Colin, can you keep on? <laughs> Certainly. Hi, Lily. Hi, Colin. Can I have a consonant, please? Sure. Let's start with S. And another one, please. R. And a vowel, please. A. And another one, please. U. And a consonant, please. H. And another one, please. L. And a vowel, please. I. And a consonant, please. T. And a final consonant, please. And lastly, F. And here's the clock. You, Robin? Five. Let's start there, please. Fault. Could you spell that? Fault. F A U L T. Thank you. And Colin? Uh, trails. Uh, T R A I L S. I think they sound okay, don't they? They sound fine. And in fact, uh, Robin, had you added that S, you just now realised uh, two fault, you'd uh, be level pegging. Uh, that's uh, fine. Trails is good. Trials is good. The seven that I found is also a plural, and that's rituals. R I T U A L S. Thank you, David. And well done to Colin. Six points. Well, let's keep going with the letters ritual and choose a few more. Robin, what would you like for your first choice? Thanks, Richard. Hello, Lily. Hi, Robin. Can I please have a vowel, please? Thank you. Starting with E. And a consonant. N. And a vowel. A. 
and a vowel. Another A. And a consonant. R. Another consonant. T. A vowel, please. U. Another consonant, please. C. And a vowel, please. And lastly, E. Thanks, Lily. Here's 30 seconds. Spell that for me. Uh, U N T R A C E. We've had some uh, challenges with negatives, David. What do you think? We have, and in fact, alas, Colin, untraced as an adjective is here, but it would need to be acknowledged as a separate verb all to itself. Uh, it is not. Not here in the um, house dictionary. So you'd probably be able to have untraceable as well. Yes, and infuriatingly, um, if you mix up untrace, you get centaur, which is the seven that I found. But let's get back to Robin's word, a great word, and you've created a uh, fine six points there, Robin. And interestingly, centaur is also centaurus. It's half man, half horse, and possibly one of the early uh, positions in uh, Pontius Pilates. <laughs> Very important form of exercise. I should, be, I should be looking for your routine as well. So, a good score for Robin. Six points. Well, time to add some addition now with the numbers game. Now, Colin, you have usually gone for the adventurer, the, the one big and, and uh, five small. Are you going to stick with that? I'll stick with that, please, Lily. One large and five small. Thanks, Colin. One large, five small. And our numbers are three, seven, nine... 10, 6, large number is 50, and the target to reach is 213. And 30 seconds to get there. to 213, Colin? Uh, 213. Excellent work, Robin? 213. Okay, Colin, you chose the numbers, so uh, take a set, please. Uh, 10 minus 6 is 4. 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 multiplied by 50 is 200. By 50 is 200. Um, plus 9 plus 7 minus 3. Plus 9 plus 7 minus 3. It's 213. 213. Okay. Spot on. Good work, Colin. Now, did you use the same method, Robin? No, it's a bit different. 7 take away 3, 4. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 50 times 4 is 200. 5 and 50 is 200. Plus 10, 2, 10. Plus 10. 2, 10. Yep. And 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. Add that on. It's 213. Well done. So, very nice as well. Two great results there, Lily. Uh, did you use one or the other? I happened to use Robin, so they were both great. They were great, and they produced 10 great points for both Colin and Robin. So, they're absolutely level picking as we go into our first break on 16 all. A word mix for you, undo airs. And the clue, once was, but is no longer. Back very soon.